Welcome back everybody, uh, www.iiot.co.za In today's video we're going to set up a basic uh, movie library inside of the Plex media server. Uh, we're going to add one movie to our Raspberry Pi Plex media server and we're going to stream that video both on a browser and on an Android device. Okay, so in my previous video we set up the Plex Media Server. In this particular video we're just going to focus on getting the movie across so I've what we're going to do is we're going to uh, connect to the Raspberry Pi. We're going to create a new folder called Movies under our media director on our, on our Raspberry Pi and what we're going to do is we're going to copy a movie across to the Raspberry Pi. Alright, while that's on the go, let's go and see if we can uh, log into the Raspberry Pi Plex Media Server. Obviously, it's cached the address from the last video and it's port 32400 and the web interface. Okay, great. So there's our Raspberry Pi. Um, obviously, there's no libraries, there's no movies, and we are busy copying the movie file across. Alright, so while that's on the go, let's close that off. Alright, so while this video copies, we're going to pause this movie and uh, a short introduction video and uh, we'll come back when we're ready to continue. Okay, welcome back everybody. Um, our MP4 movie file has uploaded to our Raspberry Pi. As you can see it is now visible and at this point we can disconnect from our Pi and minimize that off. Alright, let's head on over back to our Raspberry Pi Plex Media Server interface. Okay, we're going to add a library, we're going to add movies, uh, you can give it a name, whatever you prefer. Uh, we can uh, browse for the media folder. If you'll remember, we created a movies folder under our um, media directory on our Raspberry Pi. Uh, let's add that. And let's add that library. Alright, Plex Media Server is busy scanning the directory. It's found our, our uh, movie, Kung Fu Panda. And at this point, it should be downloading the, uh, the artwork, the fanfare, and the metadata for the actual movie itself. The tags indicated that it's busy downloading and it's actually found the information. Okay, let's go back to home. Alright, so from an on-deck point of view, um, obviously we've added our first movie and obviously Kung Fu Panda is recently added. Let's go back to our new movie folder. And there we have it, Kung Fu Panda. So let's open that uh, video. There's all our metadata. All right, let's test this. Let's play this movie from our Raspberry Pi. Great. It looks fantastic. Right. So uh, let's head on over back to our main movie. All right. So let's look at that on an Android device. Um, we're looking at the basic uh, Plex client. There comes our Raspberry Pi server. Let's go and have a look at that movie. Great. 
All right, let's see if we can play this. All right, you'll notice the activity light on the Raspberry Pi in the background as the movie starts streaming to my Android device. Great. All right, everybody. Uh, that concludes a short video in terms of adding a media library to the Plex media server running on our Raspberry Pi. All of this step-by-step -step guide is also documented with the quick start and setup guide which we've included with the purchase of the image from iot.co.za. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video.